Three Pete is on the line for Michigan football, who's set to take on Iowa tomorrow in the Big Ten Championship. Kickoff at 8 o'clock in Indianapolis. But if the Wolverines want to get their third straight conference title, they'll need the help of a local standout to get them there. Alec Janikopoulos has more. The offensive line may be an overlooked position compared to other roles on the football team, but they're a key backbone to how an offense works. Paw Paw native Carson Barnhart's been a key contributor to the Wolverines throughout his tenure in Ann Arbor, but it wasn't until a big injury in the biggest game of the season until he stepped up and really made a name for himself. The big house doesn't get louder than when the Wolverines take on Ohio State. But one injury brought 110,000 fans to silence. And I looked back and Zach was screaming and Carson was literally holding his foot as it was just like, you know, limp. And, you know, it was a sight that I don't wish upon anyone to see. Leader on the offensive line, Zach's interseason ended when it mattered most. And that meant guys on the offensive line had to find new roles. Carson, uh, tremendous. And when, when Zach, Zach went out, uh, Carson came down to, to right guard. Pawpaw native Carson Barnhart moved to right guard, a new role for that game with the season on the line. Carson's always been really versatile here at Pawpaw. You know, he played tight end. You know, he played tackle, he played guard. His former assistant coach, Dennis Stray, says that adaptability started in Pawpaw. You know, he was always a team guy, you know, put the team first because, you know, he was garnering a lot of, of attention, obviously, but... He, it was never a distraction. You know, he always wanted to win. That work ethic made the trip to Ann Arbor, and Carson earned his coach's respect. He's Mr. Versatile. He can do that in a second. And it's crazy because he can go from right to left to inside to outside. Um, it's a credit to him and his study and what he does and physically how capable he is to do all that. So I'm um, just huge. Just glad we got him. So on the next play after Zach went down, so did the Buckeyes. You know, he'll go anywhere and play it at an extremely high level, you know, and like you saw last Saturday, you know, just dominating in the run game, which was awesome to see. His coach told me that Carson takes great pride in where he's from. So as he puts on that winged helmet tomorrow night, it's safe to say that it all started for him in Pawpaw. Reporting from Indianapolis, I'm Alec Janikopoulos, News 8.